drum. My first real professional drum. I bought this back in 81, 82 for $70 used uh, from a guy named Sam in uh, Ravenswood, Queens. Uh, this drum features, uh, it's a uh, maple uh, with a brass, not uh, chrome. Uh, over wood, over maple, has ten lugs, uh, muffling system, and uh, Schlingeland, uh great drum company, up until the 80s when they, they took a nosedive and then they kind of went out of business. But uh, good enough for Buddy Rich, good enough for uh, Louis Belson, to name just two, and, and uh, good enough for uh, Neil Peart, and I was a big fan of Neil Peart uh, when I bought this drum. So one of the reasons I bought it was because he was with the Slingeland. And man, I swore that he was using the same drum on all of those recordings from like 2112, Hemispheres, and uh, Moving Pictures. He had uh, a similar drum. I think this is the Spitfire, I think they call this, if I'm not mistaken. But his was, uh, he had copper uh, over the wood. But I'm pretty sure it was the same drum. And uh, and I would sit there and listen to uh, Tom Sawyer and listen to that snare drum, that crack, and I was like, is it the same? Does it sound the same? Let me take the muffling off. Maybe that's what it was. But, uh, yeah. and looked at it, I was appalled. I was like, I couldn't believe what I did to this beautiful drum. I, oh. I desecrated it. And I handed it to a drum tech who, f who worked on it for a week or whatever it was. And then uh, he gave it back to me. And he was, he was loving this drum so much. And when he gave it back to me, I was like, oh yeah, that's what it used to sound like. Uh, uh, what else did I want to mention about this particular drum? Uh... I just, I might as well go through the side quick, just so you can hear what that's a side quick. shot. strings. I don't like that plastic thing that comes with it. I think the strings pull on the strainers in a different way. It kind of pulls it from the sides instead of from the middle. And uh, I think it just works better. It sounds better to me. I, that's what I want. You should definitely uh, pick up a Slingerland Vintage. I mean, I did look at some of the pricings on some of the drum kits. Vintage Slingerland drum kits are going still into the thousands and I know DW bought them, I think, in the 90s. Uh, and I'm not sure what's happening with them. But, you know, like old drum manufacturers, you know, Slingland had their own unique timbre and tone to them, just like Ludwig 
had their own special sound, uh, Gretsch. Like you get on a Gretsch drum set, it doesn't sound like a Tama drum kit. They have their own unique uh, way of expressing uh, tone. Uh, and, and you know a Ludwig kit or snare drum when you hear it. Uh, same thing with uh, Rogers. Rogers also went out of business. Uh, and they were an old company. I think they went back to the probably late 1800s. But they're also back, I understand, so I'm not sure what's happening with them. But anyway, I'm going to leave you with a little snare drum crescendo. Thank <laughs> you.